Welcome back to another episode of Brass and Beer. I got a little bit of a different one for you guys today. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a new little mini series I'm also starting. Um, and it's just going to kind of go on for the life of the channel. What it is, is it's just gunsmithing and just like minor little things. In the future, we'll possibly do some gun builds. Uh, but for right now, it's just going to be like fixing like little quirks that I have with my certain like rifles or pistols. And that's basically it. Just kind of thought I'd record them and uh, throw them up on, on the channel. So uh, we'll get started. And with this one, it's a uh, Sears Model 25, just a little 22 that shoots short, long, and long rifle. I did do a video on this one in my antique slash vintage firearms series uh, in, the, in the playlist. And uh, so you can find that on my channel. But for now, well, let's just get straight into it. So the first step that we're going to do on fixing this guy is remove the single screw that holds the stock onto the uh, re the rest of the rifle there. And for that, it's just a single flathead screw. I'm just go ahead and loosen it up and see that going out. And for this, it might be a good idea to, um, you know, have uh, some screwdrivers sitting aside, just two flatheads, a large one and a small one. The large one's for that single screw. It does have a little clip in it, so a little clip in the uh, end of the screw so it doesn't actually fall out when you're done unscrewing it. It stays in the, the stock itself. We'll just set that aside. Uh, while this is a part two, don't forget to take the time to maybe clean it up a little if you want to do that. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to look back at the safety itself. And we'll kind of get a close up here so you can see that it has two screws on it. And uh, it basically shows the sliding mechanism. And you can see this one, it's like... You can put it in the middle. It's just kind of sloppy. It doesn't really stay where it's at. And then right now I'll also demonstrate on how the safety works on this one. So you can see it covers up the uh, end of the, the trigger there. So that would be on fire. And you can see I can move it up. And then when it's on safe, you slide it back. And now it doesn't uh, move at all. So, um, But we'll get back into fixing it here. All right, and now that we got um, the stock off, we can go ahead and, uh, like I said, I showed you guys earlier, the little sliding mechanism there. Um, we're gonna remove these two screws completely. And normally you don't have to do that. You can see how loose these are, like they're pretty loose. Um, normally you don't have to remove them completely. The only reason I'm doing that is so I can oil mine and make it nice and smooth. Because I noticed it is a little bit rough. And so now that that safety is out of there, we'll keep the screws oriented and where they go. The, the holes there, that always helps. And then uh, and then the rest of it here. Um, so we, it's out now. Yeah, this one's pretty dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I got um, so just oil there to clean it up. And I'll get my, uh, I got a microfiber that just stays in my gun cleaning kit. And we'll just wipe it up and kind of just give it a little clean here. And then same with this. Remember this plate is oriented a uh, specific way, so just make sure it stays in the same way that it came off that it's going to go back on. For me, it's nice because when I'm recording these videos, if I ever kind of mess up, I can go back and look at it. And there was some oil on there, but not much. Get it all cleaned up, looking nice. All right. And then now we're just going to take a little bit of oil. We're just going to put a drop right here. I wouldn't even say really a drop, it's just going to be kind of a, a dab. I'm just going to rub it around with my fingers here. It's always nice to have a rag standing by too for this. I suppose it can get a little messy. And maybe we'll put some on the uh, the other side here too. Alright, got all the parts oiled up here. And then so this part right here, that little uh, nipple goes into those two little grooves that you can see right there on the uh, the safety itself. And that's the actual like where it clicks in. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually like re-oil those grooves a little bit, just so it gets really smooth right there. Cause I like a nice, you know, where you can really feel it click into place and stuff. So, oops. And then we'll put this back on there. And now it's as simple as just putting it back together. So we got one screw going in. And along with anything else, one, you want to make sure they're not cross-threaded. And two, um, you don't want to go all the way in. You just want to kind of like start one. And like this one actually might have went a little bit too far. Start it so they're just kind of, uh, they're both loose and everything goes in together correctly. And then, um, and then you can tighten both together all the way. And you don't want to go too tight. You can see how it has a nice crisp click now it's uh you could probably hear it 
but it's nice and crispy and it's uh I mean you know when it's on safe you know when it's it doesn't really do that like half hang in the middle so but it's all oiled up I might tighten mine up just a little bit more just so I really know I don't want to go too tight on these because it'll be hard to get it from one to the other yeah it feels good just like that just a little bit and obviously make all your adjustments before you put the rifle back together that way you don't have to undo it and do it again so now that it's all put back together, I went ahead and just threw a little bit more oil on it. And it might look on video like I'm wiping all the oil away. It's all internally, the oil's in there, I can see it. I'm just kind of dabbing around it so it doesn't make a complete mess. And then so now that that's put back together, it's as simple as just putting it back in the stock. And we'll do that now. And put this screw back in. Nice and tight, feels good. Put it on safe, no fire, feels good, nice, you can see, you can hear that click now, really obvious click and it, it just feels really good. And then on fire, perfect. Alright, and that's how you fix the safety on this little Sears Model 25 made by Stevens. Uh, it likes a little uh, semi-auto uh, tube fed. Pretty neat little 22, it's a little fun flinking gun. And that's how you fix the safety that I was having issues with that I complained about in the first video where it was a little bit sloppy. Uh, now it's all fixed and, and good to go though. So now you can repeat this on your on your rifle and, uh, and get that safety tightened up and feeling a lot better. Go ahead and uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I have all three social medias going up now and they're all three linked down in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the content and I hope today or Maybe you should go watch some of my other videos and I can earn your subscription. So thanks for the time and thanks for watching.